So I wanted to talk a little bit more about what I mean by horizontal spinning, getting good at horizontal spinning, and using an actual table or surface to practice good horizontal spinning. So literally, it really is good to have a table. So we've come here, we have a table. Um, the ideal thing, which we'll have at our Costa Rica retreats, is a big circular table with a hole in the middle, so you can practice all of this as you turn. And, we can, and we'll be talking in further videos about putting it all together to be really free in all kinds of horizontal spinning. But uh, any table is a good way to start. And a uh, one ploy is a good way to start. So I want to make sure that uh, when I say spinning really horizontally, I don't mean this, horizontal out from the hand. I just mean whatever speed you're spinning, that the head of the poi, the circle it's making, is horizontal. So if you do this, and the poi is staying in you know, a centimeter or an inch from the table, the poi is truly making a horizontal circle. Whether you're spinning slow and it's hanging from your hand, or whether you're spinning quickly and it's on the same plane as your hand. Either way, I can, that's the poi is making a horizontal circle. So it's good, all the speeds are good. It's good to be able to vary your speeds. So all you do is you practice these, all these things I've talked about in the horizontal videos. It's good to spend some time practicing with a real table, because then your eye will really learn to see whether you're horizontal or not. So it's coming back to the same things we discussed, going up and down, and just making sure there's at least a circle at the bottom when you see whether you're on a horizontal plane or not. And the table, of course, give you perfect feedback for that. As you're moving, as you're going up and coming down, it's a helix. So there is an angle in that helix, but if it's horizontal at the bottom and the top, that helix will be a truly passing on a vertical column, and that will create a really beautiful visual illusion, or the eye will see that geometry, and that will make it beautiful. So technically, it's not a different move, whether you're doing it with a truly perfect helix on a vertical column, or whether you're kind of on some angle, right? But the eye will see a huge difference, and that's going to make the difference in whether it's be really beautiful or just kind of spinning. So, uh, so it just takes a little practice, and you'll, your, your brain will get it quickly if you use the table. Um, and of course, it's great if you can practice as you're turning, that's what the circular table with a hole in the middle would be for. But you know, you can put one table in front and one table behind, you can be creative. And of course, once you've got it working with each hand, in each direction, you just get a couple poi going. And you can practice all the stuff that you do, you know, whatever you're working on. Using that table will just give you some extra feedback. You know, you, you can do, say, your forebeat, if you know that. And as you come down, let it unwind an inch above the table. And if you're spinning and you're doing that, and it's truly on a horizontal plane, it just makes such a difference. It, it, and you, it starts being really beautiful, and you feel it. You start to feel that plane, and that's a really special feeling in the body. So, uh, so that's, and then of course, you know, all the stuff we'll be talking about that you've already watched with caps, and instant and in spin and all of that, same thing, if you have a surface, it clicks in so much more quickly. And you don't need to do that forever, but uh, say a few days in a row using tables, it's awesome. And you can even make an obstacle course if you're in an empty restaurant, or you're playing around, you've got different surfaces everywhere you go, and you're just using those surfaces to make sure that you're really playing horizontal. Uh, so we're making a whole series, I'm doing a whole series about horizontal spinning. More videos coming, or they're already up if, uh, for some months in the future. But keep checking back. Remember to come to PlayPoy because that's where you're going to find all the videos. And of course, if you have any specific questions, just let me know. And uh, I hope you have lots of fun.